Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Tiana and I hope you are having the very best day today. Thank you for coming to check out my channel and well, I have a very special video for you guys today. I did this lovely makeup look. It was honestly a roller coaster, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like if you like it comment if you want to thank you for watching and without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> you're so Kira. she wants she wanted to be a part of it she's definitely my dog i just put football cream on my lips i hope everyone is having an amazing day i was starting off with i don't know if i had a primer last time um i did this and i know i said i was gonna do it without eyelash extensions but here we are with eyelash extensions again. I literally didn't have them on for like ages. It was so different. My um, best mate from primary school, she would always do my lashes. <laughs> but she stopped doing it. So I just was like, well, I don't know who to go to. Okay, so that was um, Bronze Glow Perfecting Primer from Natio. Is that look? Don't judge my pronunciation, I've never been good at pronouncing words. <laughs> it's a light priming serum with a natural bronze tint for a long lasting makeup for all skin types. So that's what I have been prepping my face with. <laughs> okay, so last time I didn't have this in the shade that I wanted. And when I tried to get the shade that I wanted, they didn't have the shade. So I ended up going with 320G from Huda Beauty. Yeah. I usually blend it in with a beauty blender, but I genuinely don't know where it's gone. So, look, we just gotta do what we gotta do. Um, I have a mirror like right there, so if I keep looking there, it's only because I'm trying to um, make sure this isn't fucked because I can't see. <laughs> shoot for my OF today so I was just like I might as well film myself getting ready make sure I can get another video out to you in less than fucking four months but I was like I've got this do you wanna pick up your shit work on your shit do it come on <laughs> but next what I do is I'm still using this milk contour um stick thing God, I'm so good at this. So I just put it here. There. And here. There. And there. Diablo just gotten on my bed. <laughs> That's my big boy, Rob Weaver. He is just so beautiful. They all are. Look at, look at my gorgeous girl. She's literally 15 now. I've had her since I was like six or seven. I can't remember, but for a freaking long time. So as I said, don't have a beauty blender. So I've just been, actually blend it up. I really don't have a choice with this. I prefer to use a beauty blender. I feel like it looks better, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, okay. That out. Eskimo kisses with the brush. Oh yeah, and I've got my new hair. Ooh. I didn't want to speak about it in my last two videos, cause, but I was just so insecure about it. Like I hated it. It was literally like frazzled, fucking orange. Um, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I want to possibly dye my hair by myself, don't. Learn from my mistakes. Do not impulsively diet by yourself. You will regret it most of the time. Especially if you're going from like dark, like I was, to blonde. Like my hair was only just, I mean, I had to cut it off to my shoulders for it to be like sort of healthy again and blonde. Cause like from here to like here was just like dead fried. If I try to put it up, it just looked like a freaking just stick out everywhere like it was just fucked like honestly so that is my advice if you want to dye your hair right now don't do it unless you get it done professionally 
But yeah, this is my new, like, um, I don't know what it is. It's from Huda Beauty and it's, I think it's just the blush stick. But oh my god, I literally love this stuff so much. So I just pop that on. Put that on there. Put a little on my nose because why the fuck not? Alright. And then with a blush, I mean a brush again, just blend that feature out. Still prefer to do it with a freaking beauty blender, but it's so fine. So. Up with the beauty blender, do the same, like that sort of motion. So, I'm still using this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette for my eyebrows. Um, I just feel like it looks like well, I mean, it works. I'm still using some products that aren't actually meant for where they go, but fuck it, honestly. Why stick to a criteria? Okay. I start from like here, this light, light hand because you don't want like a whole freaking chunk of um, product to go on your brows, especially if you've got blonde hair. If you've got darker hair, you can sort of make it work, but if you've got blonde hair, it just looks like you have a chunk. So I try not to do that. But honestly, I'm mad at myself. Like, I wish I did more YouTube videos with my dark hair, like my black hair. I loved it. Like, I loved it. I felt like I felt like the baddest bitch with my black hair. Like, I. You asked me why I changed it. Well, because I can't fucking like. It's never enough for me. I'm like, I'm not happy. I need to change. Like, so. Yeah, that's annoying. I um made a stupid, impulsive decision. I mean, I'm like not too mad now it could have been a lot longer than what it is if i didn't fry it myself but um we all make mistakes and we learn from them <laughs> but oh well this is like me rocking the bob for the first time since i was like um six literally in like prep i don't even think that's a thing anymore oh no not prep like preschool yeah preschool <laughs> But yeah, so just going lightly with this. Okay, well, look, that sort of does it for me. Um, and then I just, because it's not enough, um, I go in and set my brows with this Morphe 9C Contour Palette. Because I use contour for my eyebrows apparently all the time. But yeah, I'll just go in with that. I don't have the mirror there anymore, so give me two seconds. Um, let's hope this works. On my last makeup tutorial, I went a little bit more into depth about like how I do my eyebrows. Less crazy like um so if you want to look at that look at that because i could sort of see a lot better i had the camera on well, i had my phone flipped around the other way okay so look you gotta spool your eyebrows after you fucking finish with them to like drag the or just like make sure the products are so clumpy on there it kind of i feel like it makes it look better this is like a little powder thing i got from like this little beauty powder thing i got but Look, that ran out, so now I use it just to go into powders. What is this? It's actually that rubbed off that I'll look at it after. <laughs> but I just like set my under eyes, this is translucent powder. So I, know I had some requests about that, so. I just honestly, some people let it bake, but I just prefer to just set it in myself. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it looks fine. My nose, around my cheekbones, basically anywhere that I get ooh, um, creasing throughout the day, I like to put it. Yeah. But 
all I do with translucent powder. I know some people like to sit there and let it bake, but I don't really, I don't care. Loose powder, Libri, Libri. not Libra, Libri, <laughs> medium Moyen. I, it's, I still don't know the name of the brand. How fuck this is. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. What I go in to set next is, well, with powder, is my Hula Beauty Baranza. And I just open that. And drag that up again to lift the base. On my forehead. And then I go in with this Nude by Nature um, blush. I just slightly put that on because it's very pigmented and I could be looking like a clown real quick. Um, and we do not want that. But this is like literally my all time favorite highlighter palette. It's so broken. It makes me so sad. Look, look, it's all in the crit, it's everywhere. I go in with the gold highlighter down the bottom, the big one, and I just put that on. I honestly, it's just so nice. I fucking love it. I love it. isn't it? <laughs> no, honestly, this has always been my favourite. Since, like, literally back at school. This is, like, the Kylie Bible palette. I don't know if I said that. But she's pretty much the one that taught me how to do, um, makeup on YouTube. If you can't tell that that's a freaking beautiful ass highlighter, I don't know if that just is the camera, because honestly... Anyways, that's pretty much the base done. Love the base. Um, and I'm not gonna do anything too crazy on my eyeballs. I can't really grab in my eyeshadow palettes, which is so fun because I'll just use some Hula Beauty freaking bronzer in my crease. Honestly. It blends in nice when you use your bronzer on your arm lit because like it just matches in with the rest so if you don't ever have any eyeshadow use your bronzer I'm telling you it'll look good you could even like fucking contour thy nose <laughs> thy nose I honestly don't know how I speak I just speak however it comes out and we'll just fucking hope for the best Hey. <laughs> Roxy. Roxy. Ro oh, that's Diablo. I take it back. Look, Roxy's got a really freaking manly um bar. Hey, and I can use some of this contour thing to just grab add some depth. Just staple that into the outside. Staple. I don't know if that's the right word, but like da 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 that sort of thing. <laughs> and literally on like the outside of your eye, like that's a lot. Just adds a little bit more darkness. We will take some of that under the eyeball. Mm. Not bad. I did want to show you guys the um, mascara that I'm using now, well, was using when I didn't have any lashes. And oh my god, this stuff is actually so freaking good. Like, it actually made my eyelashes, even though I've been like, like had, oh my god, my brain. Even though I've had eyelash extensions on for like five years or however long, this still made my eyelashes look freaking so long. So it's called the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original. And it looks like this. Honestly, oh, this shit's good. I'm going to do some freaking island now. Uh, this is the Maybelline New York Hyper Shark Wing. 
eyeliner. Honestly, my mum gave me this, so thanks mum. Appreciate the support. I'm gonna try use the <laughs> put a beauty bronzer. Um, mirror. I put a beauty bronzer mirror. That's what I'm trying to use. But you could literally just stop at. Well, I put on like a little bit of lipstick, but you don't really need to go this in depth if you want to just do a chill look. I just obviously I'm doing a little shoot. Oh, it looks really shit. It's really, this camera's, this camera isn't big enough. This mirror isn't big enough. It's fine. My other video also is better for the eyeliner. I saw Ariana Grande posted a TikTok of her like doing her winged eyeliner and um honestly I feel her in the fact that she's like I don't know this one's going off in a different direction to this one I don't know how to get them even I feel like I said that in the last video but look after four months I still haven't learned that technique I just literally hope for the best um but yeah you go from in like out to in and then I only bring it to like a little bit in so that it doesn't make the eye look smaller it makes it look longer sort of like a cat eye effect all right let's try this eye you know i really can't see through this mirror put all the highlight on that screen i don't want to ruin i don't want to waste it um. but they're like this one's going off here and that one's going off there <laughs> No! It's so fun. I just talked to you from this side or this side. Sorry, I know this seems really shit. I just do my best. <laughs> so you can kind of sort of do what I just did. I just grabbed something with like a sharp edge and just like went along it with my um foundation color. I don't do it on that side because that one was okay, but I tried to fix it that one up. <laughs> so that's sort of like the eyes and the base done. And then I still swear by this lip combo. It's literally my favorite. I can't tell me freaking different. So I use the Revlon Color Satin Satin Ink in I was gonna say 900, but 006. Um and I love this lip actually. Need to get a new one. I did that color with a uh, this lip gloss, which oh my God, I just love it. Oh. You know, it's really hard to. Like, <laughs> Tried to talk while I'm doing my lip gloss, but it's so hard to do my makeup this far away. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. I should have moved it closer. Yeah, this is my finished look. I only have like a few new products that I've used, but this is where we're at. I know it's pretty similar to the other one, but who cares? You guys wanted another one? Well, you wanted an update, and I gave you an update. guys so much for watching this video i hope you have the best day make sure you say to yourself i love myself i'm in my very best timeline life is working out for me i'm a money magnet we want to be attracting that money i attract everything i desire do your daily affirmations i promise you they make you feel even freaking better and you start attracting that shit you just gotta believe it but have the best freaking day Sorry for the rambling and the freaking being so scattered today. Um, oh yeah, I think I know why. <laughs> but I will get to that in another video. But, um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next video. Bye.